I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, my main focus is going to be organizing under our kitchen sink. Basically today I'm going to assess the situation, see what I'm lacking, see what I have that I can organize with already on hand. And I know there are a few things I need to order and I'm going to do a pickup order I think tomorrow morning. So I'm writing things down. I know I need dishwasher pods and I think I also need to get like trash bags and maybe paper towels, that sort of thing. So I'm going to be looking as I organize under there to see what I need to pick up to organize the space and also to stock it up. So I also want to make some cookies for my family. We are out of butter so I need to add that to my list. So I was searching online and I read you can use applesauce as a one-to-one -one ratio for butter. I haven't tried that before but I'm going to try it today and we'll see if it's a flop or if it's a success so I'm gonna work on that and then it's such a beautiful day outside today and I really need to clean my chicken coop so I am going to be working on that as well so let me just show you outside how beautiful it is and then we will get to work on the day so there's the view out my kitchen window and I stepped outside and took a little bit of footage of our cattle out grazing in the pasture which I can see from my kitchen window and then here's a look at the chicken coop that I'm going to be cleaning out today. So I know my hair is a little bit wild today. This is what happens if I don't straighten it. And I decided to just go with it today and leave it curly. And so I'm going to start by getting the cookie dough made up so that I can put it in the fridge, let it chill for a little while before I bake them later today. And then I am going to tackle under the sink and see what I need to do under there. So let's get these cookies made up and it only has three ingredients butter flour sugar and I'm just going to be replacing the butter with the same amount of applesauce and we'll just see how it goes. Well, I also went ahead and added some vanilla to the cookie dough as well. It was optional for this particular recipe, but I feel like in my personal opinion, you can pretty much never go wrong adding vanilla when you are baking something. So the dough was definitely very wet, very sticky. I did add a couple of extra tablespoons of flour and then just went with it and you'll see how they turn out. Okay, so here goes. So I think what I'm going to do is pull everything out and see if I have some organizational tools around the house that I can use. I do have one little stackable container that I bought a while back for this project. I just haven't gotten to it. In fact, I had thought about buying another one before I worked on this space because I was thinking I could probably find a plenty to put in them. But I think I'm just going to see if I can figure out how to organize it using things I already have. And I know there's probably a couple things I need to add to my list for my pickup order. So I'm just gonna start by removing everything and then we'll see what we need to make this space look a little better.
So I really like this container and I can think of a lot of different ways to use this in this space. So I may eventually go ahead and order another one, but I think for right now, I'm gonna use this for all my scrub pads, magic erasers, that sort of thing. And I usually cut them down. So this size I will cut into thirds and you can see right here and they work just the same. They're easier to hold on to and they last longer, saves money. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them down and put them in this organizer and keep organizing them. What I'm thinking about doing is ordering another set of these and using one drawer for my cleaning cloths and one for my dishwasher pods. I think it'd be really nice to just open a drawer, grab out a pod, toss it in the dishwasher instead of what I'm using now. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead, work with what I got and see what we can get done. So here is my pile of trash I need to get picked up, some rags I need to put in the laundry room, some extra steel wool soap pads I'm going to put somewhere else because I don't need them in here, an extra bottle of cleaner, I'm going to put that in the bathroom, and then these are my mop heads to my O Cedar spin mop, and I don't keep my mop under here so I am going to put those in the laundry room and that will free up a little space under the sink. So let me show you where I'm at. So here is what under the sink looks like right now and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm actually going to call this part one. I am going to search for a shelf that can go on this side so I can utilize some of this vertical space. And then I think I'm gonna order another set of these to put over here for my dishwasher pods and my cleaning cloths. So after I get those in place, I will update you on how this space looks. But I have gloves over here on a command hook and they're just held by a binder clip. And then I have some different cleaners. I have multi-purpose cleaners. And then this one is just vinegar and water and I use it especially for mirrors and windows. The first bin just has my trash bags which I need to add to my list because it's just about empty. And the back one is floor cleaner 
cleaner and the stronger stuff is back there and an extra pair of gloves i have an extra paper towel right here i need to add that to my list and then there is the little drawer organizer which i'm really liking and then i put two different plastic organizers up here i put a larger one and then I put the smaller one inside of that. And I think that's gonna work out really well, at least for now, for my extra scrub daddies and some cleaning cloths until I get another organizer. And then I also have a couple of door organizers inside my cabinet as well. One is actually on the wall, and then one is on the door like you see here. And I just keep some of my go-to things on the door and some extra odds and ends in the other one. So back to the cookie recipe where I used applesauce in place of butter. The dough was still extremely sticky and while I did have hopes they would turn out, I was very cautiously hopeful of this recipe. Like I said, I had never used applesauce in place of butter before. I have used it in place of bananas and that's worked out perfectly, but this one was definitely an experiment. So the cookies were done. I took them out of the oven and decided to go ahead and go outside and work on my chicken coop. I got my gorilla cart, my shovel, a basket to put any eggs in, and then the shavings to put back inside the coop after I get it cleaned out. So that is what I'm going to work on right now. So I keep food and water on the inside of my coop as well as on the outside and I like to hang them if at all possible because it keeps dirt from getting kicked inside the food or the water as well as the shavings. It just makes it a lot cleaner and I also read it's a little bit better for the chickens and so I'm just going to gather the eggs before I add some shavings to the nesting boxes and then I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick the pulley system that I have in my coop. I actually have the door set up on a pulley system so I can open it and shut it from the outside of the coop. So if I need to shut the chickens out of the coop so I can clean it out without them coming in and out, then I can do that. Or if I need to shut the door if it's really, really cold outside and I need to block the draft, I can do that as well. So here is a look at how I have my pulley system set up. So I have my chicken coop cleaned out. I have under the sink organized my first cookie recipe. I am going to call a total fail. They turned out, they are cooked, but they feel kind of gummy. It said you could use a one to one ratio applesauce to butter, but I'm not quite sure that's correct. If you have tips for that, let me know for the future, but I do plan on stocking my fridge with butter tomorrow. So I found another recipe because I do not want to end on a fail. I want to have some good cookies for my family tonight. And I found a recipe in this cookbook that my grandma had given me years and years ago, my great grandma. And she put a recipe in here. This was her church collaboration cookbook that they did. And it's called Grandma's Peanut Butter Oatmeal Cookies. What I don't have is shortening. It takes two tablespoons but I'm gonna substitute that with coconut oil and hopefully this one turns out. So let's get these made up and see what happens. Well, I could tell that this recipe was going a lot better. And while I could have went back to the other recipe and used something different, I know you can substitute coconut oil for butter. It would have taken a lot of coconut oil to replace and my family doesn't particularly like the taste of coconut and so this recipe I only needed two tablespoons and so I thought that was probably the better way to go I wouldn't have to substitute as much of something and it wasn't going to have an overwhelming coconut taste And 
And this recipe was a definite winner. It worked out perfectly. I did half the cookies the way the recipe was, and then the other half I added some vanilla and chocolate chips. And over the weekend, they were all gone. My family really, really liked these. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. If you enjoyed this style of video, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're new here, I would love it if you hit subscribe and hung around. If you're interested in this particular recipe, have it wrote out in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day, and thanks for watching.